what's going on everyone it's marcellus back with another video and we got to go over the whole crypto market today so looking at what we have over here with the crypto market we are now at thirty-eight thousand dollars with bitcoin so that's up 4.87 percent inside the last seven days that's really big but we have something bigger to talk about so what everyone actually wants to know about let's look over here fed crypto news this is one of the biggest things that we have to talk about today the fed crypto news and then we also have to talk about why is crypto going down today so in simple in short terms why crypto is going down today is because the fud the fear uncertainty and doubt so that is you know the simple answer but we have more complex answers for that so the first thing with the fed right bitcoin declines as fed projects interest rates rise in 2023 so this is actually really big news that we have to talk about so the u.s central bank also increased estimates of coming inflation to three percent from the 2.2 percent projection in march largely due to transitory factors so that is a huge announcement right there that is why crypto has been going down people are looking at that looking at that and just flood fear uncertainty and doubt just spreading all over the place yeah that's just so much flood is going around so honestly we can't prevent that like as investors we really can't prevent that the only thing we can do is really buy and hold all we can do is hold and not have paper hands right so something that i would invest you all to do read this book right here literally read this book the intelligent investor warren buffett actually encourages everyone to read this book who invests in anything and yes i know this book was this book was made in 1949 and yeah crypto wasn't out around then but the stock market was and the author of this book was born in 1894 so he knows more about the u.s economy than anyone else in this world really so i would definitely recommend you reading the intelligent investor it actually has a whole section in here which i've been reading lately which it says if you can read this if you can't find it says timing is nothing literally timing is nothing so timing means nothing in the crypto world it means nothing inside of the finance world what means something is buying and holding for a long time paper hands will not get you anything paper hands will never get you anything you just have to buy and hold remember it's not financial advice and i'm not a financial advisor it's just something that you should know as an investor you should never have paper hands you should always have actual assets and investments instead of just plain cash because the inflation i mean look they're even telling you right here inflation look interest rates are going to rise and inflation is going to do its thing as well so we might as well prepare for the worst and invest the best so without further ado let's keep on going over what we have here right so cryptocurrencies were mostly lower on wednesday despite a brief three percent jump in bitcoin after the u.s federal reserve maintained accommodative monetary policies right but the gains were short-lived at risk as assets pulled back with traders focusing on fed officials revised projection for interest rates increasing by the end of 2023 sooner than what was anticipated in march so yes the interest rates are going to increase this is going to cause inflation everything is going to happen everything is just going to keep coming back to back to back and hitting us back to back with a lot of force i mean a lot of fud is going to just continue to go around the market like the stock market real estate market and crypto so really the whole the whole u.s economy is inside of a hole it's inside of a hole right now right so being inside of a hole inside the u.s u.s economy we just need to kind of take a step back and um at this point i would say wait wait on buying the dips because with all of this that they're coming out with i would say wait on buying the dips but remember it's not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor i would say keep what you have right now and just hold it hold it hold it and then if we do dip a lot then you can buy the dip but just wait until you see a 30 percent drop because if we don't get a 30 percent drop we'll most likely continue to rise and rise but looking over here you see there's a lot of different cryptos that are down i mean even bitcoin it's up in the last seven days it is but remember it's still down it's still down overall like dogecoin down you know we got ethereum down everything is pretty much down so remember about the interest rates they're going to rise in 2023 you have to be prepared so you have to have money on the sidelines and the reason why i say you don't want to have paper hands you don't want to miss out on the run-up but then you don't want to have too much money where you're overextended and you're afraid of losing your money so definitely watch out there and that is one of the big things that we have to talk about and then the next thing the next thing about the whole thing with thailand and then banning you know meme currencies like dogecoin and stuff which is also another thing that's causing FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt inside of the market. And the more FUD, 
you know, the more selling off we get, it's, it's, it's predicted to happen. It's going to keep happening and happening and happening until we fully recover from this. But, you know, I won't say the name, but, you know, the whole pandemic thing that happened, you know, it's kind of been suppressing everybody. So it's not just messing up the stock market, it's messing up crypto and it's messing up everything. So not only is crypto down, but the stock market is too. So even if you were to put your money in the stock market as well, you're still going to go down with the interest rates going up and everything you're going to go down 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 in the same thing with our inflation you're going to go down as all that goes up but i wouldn't worry about that because the long term the intelligent investor remember what i said the intelligent investor invests for long term the intelligent investor does not invest for short term so remember warren buffett he's one of the richest investors inside of the world and one of the smartest investors inside of the world he created the hodl method he created the buying and hodl method so definitely do that if you want to be a successful, intelligent investor. But let's move on here. So the next thing we got to talk about, the whole Bitcoin and El Salvador thing that's happening. You know, El Salvador has not accepted Bitcoin as a legal tender. So we already know this, but will this be El Salvador's passport to riches, as they say here? I definitely believe it will because they said all you need to do is invest three Bitcoins. Right now, three Bitcoins will probably run you about uh, 120K probably and then you get a lifelong passport in el salvador you can live in el salvador for as long as you want just invest three bitcoins and then you can live out there for as long as you want have your little passport get your property out there and remember everything's cheaper when you go out there so look at this holding more than a hundred thousand bitcoins that is a lot of money but still you can get a full passport for el salvador if you do so el salvador and bitcoin that is a good thing this is the golden passport the golden visa and it's really attracting people there and something a lot of people have been looking up lately the nomad capitalist he is a youtuber you look up the nomad capitalist you'll know exactly what i'm talking about and a lot of you investors already know what i'm talking about but i want to show like how google trends works like type in nomad uh capitalist and see what pops up so nomad capitalist okay so nomad capitalist so recently it's just shot up because you know the whole bitcoin and el salvador thing he has been going crazy on YouTube because, you know, everyone has been noticing what has been happening inside the U.S. People have been noticing crypto getting banned in other areas such as Thailand. Now you can't get those coins out and stuff out there. And it's just really crazy. Other places are banning it. I think Bangladesh might also have something against crypto. Um, don't mark me on that. But there's a lot of different places that are banning it. South Korea, a lot of different places. So look up Nomad Capitalist and he will definitely tell you about the best places to go with your crypto and your money because remember as investors we want to protect our assets so you can't fully protect your asset somewhere where it's regulated heavily and somewhere where they're also going to tax you heavily so you want to go somewhere where you're not going to be taxed as much which el salvador will be your number one choice because if you have 100k in bitcoin now you have a full residency there so it's the golden visa hands down so let's keep going here so this is international investing. Look, Indonesia's central bank bans the use of crypto as payment method. Look, if you have 100K and you live inside of Indonesia, you best move over to El Salvador with your Bitcoin and they will literally give you a full residency just for having three Bitcoins. Three Bitcoins and you'll get a full residency outside El Salvador. So if you live out in Indonesia, you best go to El Salvador. They will hook you up with whatever you want. You know, you, you, can, you can buy land there. You can do whatever you want as long as you have three bitcoins pretty much right so they say crypto as payment tool not legitimate in indonesia so yes they're now painting it out there they're banning crypto in a lot of different places but they're going to realize that was a huge mistake and a lot of these places that are banning crypto are a lot of places that actually need crypto because if you think about why el salvador made it illegal tender it's because most of the residents do not have bank accounts most of the residents don't have bank accounts they don't have access to that but they have access to the internet they have access to bitcoin they have access to that so that is going to help them out a lot and a lot of places in the indonesia are the same way but they're doing the opposite of el salvador they're going to realize that it was a real mistake and i mean if they're really for their people if they really care about their people then they're going to make it legal so then their people can use it and their people will benefit from it so i mean any any kind of country or any person that prevents wealth building inside of their country is definitely something corrupted behind the scenes so definitely remember that so the the crypto economy prepares for its broadband moment 
So what is the broadband moment? There has been no shortage of economies in the payments and commerce business to discuss over the past decades. Blah, 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 blah. They've said they've had the internet economy. Remember the dot-com bubble? How all that just went exploded. And But are we ready for a new economy? That's what they're saying right now. Jeremy Allaire, CEO of crypto exchange Circle. Haven't really heard of Circle, but he does make a good point. Are we ready for a new economy? And that's what everyone's saying. No one wants, you know, crypto to just drop. But, you know, when the dot-com bubble, when everything just blew up with, you know, the internet and everything, a lot of people made a lot of money because they got in on that. But remember when they had a dip? It did have a dip, just like we're seeing now. But I really feel like we've already went down so much. Yes, we could go back down to 30,000, but we're more likely to go up to 100K by the end of the year than 30,000 or below 30,000 by the end of the year. That's what I'm saying. By the end of the year, this is my projection, 100K by the end of the year, at least. But yeah, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. So don't mark my words on that. But definitely do your own due diligence and do whatever. I mean, do not just don't blame me when you, you know, miss out on the huge jumps, right? But I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. Just if you miss out on these huge jumps, don't blame me because I'm in on Dogecoin. I'm in on CBE New Bitcoin, all this. I know in the long run, this is going to work out and I'm going to keep bringing this book out. The Intelligent Investor Invests for Long Term. So you really want to invest for the long term. If you're only doing short term, you're not investing, you're gambling and you're trading. So invest for the long term. Imagine where Bitcoin will be at in five years. Imagine 10 years. Now imagine 20 years and then 30 years. Possibly could be at 1 million Bitcoin by then. Because remember, trillions, trillions and trillions of dollars are going to be printed into the U.S. market. And we're seeing this every single day. We're seeing what Biden keeps on doing, keeps on printing more money, more money and more money. You know, the, the government just keeps printing more and more and more money. We're supposed to be having another stimulus. So the U.S. dollar is losing its dominance. It's losing really bad right now. So the U.S. dollar is about to be, it, I, it, I'm not going to say it's going to be like Venezuela, but if we get like Venezuela, don't tell you, don't say that I didn't tell you, right? But I don't think it's going to get as bad as Venezuela because uh, Venezuela's dollar is virtually useless. Like you can have about a million bills in Venezuela and get one burger from McDonald's. Like you can literally get one burger from McDonald's inside it. It was just one burger for a million of their Venezuela dollars. You know, that that's crazy. Like imagine having a million dollars and only being able to get a McDouble. Like, come on, one burger. But yeah, that's crazy. But look at this, Panama to present crypto related bill in July. So more countries are coming in on this crypto. Look, following El Salvador opposition, Pol uh, opposition pol politician Gabriel Silva says he is seeking consensus to make cryptocurrency legal tender in Panama. So yeah, it's about to become legal tender in Panama. And if you look up Nomad Capitalist, he actually talks about you know getting your second residency in Panama. And really, you want a second residency in a lot of different countries. You don't. I would say you want a second residency in as many countries as you can get. You you just don't want to be limited to one country. Because imagine if your country bans crypto and now you lose all your crypto now you can't even use it i mean that'd be a terrible situation so if they do ban it you really want to have multiple residencies in different places but yeah remember diamond hands not paper hands do not sell we're going to the moon with it but let's keep on moving on here to what we have so buy coinbase on the dip for a long-term opportunity like i said long-term investing is the only investing anything else is not investing right so buy coinbase on the dip for a long-term opportunity on the crypto economy that is what you want to do you want to buy it on the dip right now 232 dollars i mean that is a steal imagine imagine coinbase being worth the same as amazon i can really see coinbase being worth the same as amazon so coinbase can be 30 three thousand dollars easily it can be three thousand dollars really easily because just think about what bitcoin is at bitcoin Bitcoin was trading at $63,000 and imagine once Bitcoin starts to go up and up and up and continue to gain its dominancy We're going to see coinbase skyrocket and just give it some years Like I said give it five years give it ten years watch where we will be if you're an intelligent investor You are investing for the long term not the short term But remember never overextend yourself never invest more than what you're willing to lose because then that's when you lose because then you sell out early and when you sell out early that's when you lose but let's keep talking about what we have now. So BitDAO raises 230 million decentralized crypto investment fund. So we still have people raising money inside crypto. We still have people investing in different cryptos. We still have people creating and developing on the crypto and on the blockchain. So this is how we know we are not 
going to just go all the way down to zero. We are not going down to rock bottom with crypto. It's just not going to happen. Too many people are invested in this. So many people are invested in this to the point where if a government, if a certain government banned it, they would probably slide some dollars under there and then slide some dollars to the leaders of the government. And then they would probably unban it. So I do not think that crypto would ever be banned. There's just too much money and there's just too many corrupted politicians for that to happen. Like, just imagine if crypto was banned, imagine all the corrupted politicians that would just be taking money left and right bribes just to get crypto accepted again. It's going to happen if we ever get banned and we know it's going to happen and we know how corrupted governments can be. But I'm not just here to criticize governments and all that. I'm just saying certain people will do certain things for money. So I don't think we'll ever fully ban crypto inside the United States. The United States is just so focused on money. I don't believe that will ever happen. Like they're just too money hungry in the United States for them to ban something that is so great for the growth of the economy. It's just not going to happen. But yeah, this is pretty much all I have for today. But yeah, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. But if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and check out the link in the description for a free stock with Robinhood and Webull. And remember, read, do, read The Intelligent Investor. You have to read this. If you are not a long-term investor, you are not an investor at all. Do not have paper hands. Remember, Benjamin doesn't hold Benjamin, right? So keep on chasing your dreams. Keep on investing inside of crypto, and I'll see you in the next video.